Hi crafters, Raquel here with Paints and Glitter. Today I'm coming along with a little project share. I've been playing around with the 3D folders from Tonic Studios. These were just recently released as well as the Majestic Mosaic die set. So I'll be sharing this with you as well. And here are my little card samples. Let's start here. This is the one card that I made with this die set, but I did use it to help me with the others. So I'll explain that in a moment, but here's a, one of the panels that you can cut out with this eight piece die set. So let me share with you what comes here. And of course you can get sleeves and magnets from Tonic Studios to help you house your crafts. But here what I've used is, is this gorgeous center panel here and the square solid panel that you can cut, of course, with that solid square die. And then as you can see here, there are other little pieces that you can cut out, whether they be into your card or cut them with the edge pieces so that you can use them as strips or you can use one of the little scalloped edges here. And then this piece here, which will leave a stippled edge, but it also cuts that edge. So if you want to use that as a, a way to make a pocket, you can definitely do that. So here's how I've used it. I used the solid panel. I cut out a piece of card, which I did ink in three different types of pink, and they were Catherine Puller inks in Party Dress, Color Polished, and in Bellini. So those are the three colors I used on the front of this card. You may have noticed that behind this beautifully colored panel, there's also a piece of vellum, and that's where I used the leafy lattice embossing folder. I just sprayed the vellum with a tiny little mist of water, and before I applied it onto the base of my card, which is 300 GSM card and white, I actually took that vellum and flipped it upside down. And where the leaves and little branches are, I did color those in using a couple of pencils from the Hair and Skin Tones watercolor pencils from Tonic. And they, I did not add water. I simply used them to color those in. It gave me a really beautifully soft result and it's very subtle but effective. Then I did use some drops on the front in both the colors Bubblegum Blush and Simply White, and these are crystal drops. So they did leave me a really beautiful finish there. And then the little sentiment just says hello, and I did cut that out using dies and a little stamp from Tonic. And then over here on the edge, you see a triple play there of that one die. I really like that scallop. I think that is a really versatile die. It might seem unassuming, but you can couple it with so many different dies. And I did have to cut it down to fit this particular size, but I think that that worked really well. I just used my scissors there on the edge. And then that stippling is what I used here on this edge. Now, it's very subtle, but when you look at a card and you see that extra little detail, it really kind of pops versus having just a flat white card. And of course, repeating that element three times really creates some balance on your card. And then when it opens, it just has another little piece of vellum here. And as you can tell, I just took four little drops of adhesive and that's enough there for a nice little delicate card. The next card that I made is this one here, a little more playful. I had a lot of fun creating this one. This I made with a Pretty Petal Trellis embossing folder. The first thing that I did is that to create this one, I just took a 110 pound piece of card. I also inked it with three Distress Oxide inks. They are Picked Raspberry, Abandoned Coral, that's in the center, and then Candied Apple toward the bottom of the paper. But it blended so nicely, so I really love that. Then I did take a baby wipe that was almost dry and I just wiped away the color on a little bit of the panel. You may see some of the flowers are a little bit lighter. Then here I took some dyes that I have from Tonic that create these little dragonflies and little moths and I just added three of them there which I did decorate with crystal glaze just in the center. So it does give a tiny bit of shine. And here you see this belly band. It does have vellum behind it just to help it pop from the background. That is also from the Majestic Mosaic die set. And that sample on that cover is just stunning. I would love to know who created it. I think it may have been Victoria. 
so you may want to look out for that um, so that's this one here and then I did just place little drops of Nuvo right on the center there now because I had used oxide inks on the background of this whenever I place a little Nuvo drop which by the way was a crystal drop in the color buttermilk it oxidized the ink because of the water in the drop and I just love when that happens it's like this little happy not accident but just a change in color there which I really liked next was this card here I did create the panel in a live video so I did share in that video that for this entire background I did use watercolor card and it was cold press and it's a nice substantial card which I then ran through with the embossing folder as you can tell it was the leafy lattice and then I did use from the aqua flow collection of Nuvo pens I used the color pink lemonade and pressed olive so that's what gave me that beautiful background but before I was done I also applied Nuvo embellishment mousse in the color pink unicorn and so I just brushed that on top and it kind of lightened that a bit and of course it gave it that beautiful shine then to finish this off I did take that bottom panel there that I just took another Catherine Pooler ink in fact it was in the color eucalyptus and all I did was brush that color on these little flowers I cut using another dye from Tonic. I can't recall which one. This is just a little leftover strip of white card that I placed on top. And that hello, which is foiled in gold there. Maybe you can see it like that. I did use a Tonic Studios dye. However, I did use my Spellbinders foil machine to do that. So you can foil using regular dyes I'll be doing a separate video for that possibly a live and then here lastly is this other sample which portrays the same embossing folder as you see here and then of course I use different color inks those were fossilized amber peeled paint and lucky clover and then I did use the candied apple at the end just to go ahead and highlight those little bits of red and this was a rescue mission I have to share because my panel was in 110 pound card and I had initially used Aquaflow pens to demonstrate in the pink lemonade however I didn't like the way that that looked so those were two little spots here but I didn't want to let that go to waste so of course the recovery process was with oxide inks and I was able to create my panel which opens up like this and see even the bottom was used no waste then this folds up like so here's the belly band that is created with that embossing folder and as you can see here I just decorated it I use some other dyes from tonic studios that create these beautiful little skeleton leaves that I backed up with vellum and the stamp happy and blessed and this is from a fall collection but of course I thought it was beautiful and you can send these types of cards all year round because if you're blessed and you're happy you can share that with anyone at any time <laughs> and I did use the glitter gloss pen just on certain little areas and I think I also splattered it I uh, yes because there's some shine there and I'm pretty sure this is what I use this by the way opens up and it creates an easel card you just rest it on a table like so and that's as easy as that is and I had so much fun creating these cards I just wanted to come along share them with you of course I do have affiliate links that if you choose to use will help you support my channel so if you like this type of content don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment I love to read them I look forward to hearing which card style you prefer have you used any of these types of techniques I guess let me know what you think I think these products are really fun I'm very excited that Tonic Studios is venturing into the world of 3d embossing because I love texture on a card so anytime that I can get anything that the recipient can just touch and you know experience like that especially if it's if it's a person maybe who has low visibility this means a lot because they can touch the card and then see how much work you put into that just for them and I think that that conveys a whole lot and whatever you put into a card is should come from the heart 
I believe that 100%. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you do love this content as much as I love creating for you, that you can be inspired and be blessed. And I hope to see you in my next video.